Jessie B scrapbooking back with another process video. This one is for the four by six sketches only class that I'm doing with Allison Davis, and I am doing snow pictures. Yes, I know it is August. It is very very hot, but I'm doing snow pictures, and it has some really cool um, like stripes. In the top and then the pictures are going to lay like this so let's get going okay so i went and i found my um i think it's echo parks hello winter um collection that i have with my christmas and winter stuff and um yeah, I really like this collection. It's all about the snow, so that works perfect. Um, I grabbed out some pieces, and then this one here was like it's perfect because that's exactly the size of stripes I want to make. It's just a little bit over an inch. And so here I'm just kind of marking off where my pictures are going to go so I know I don't need to... Um, how far down I need to go with my pictures and then I need to put a mat on it because my pictures don't go all the way across like um, they would have if I had used different pictures yeah in the sketch it is a two-page sketch but I am only going to do the um, left side of the sketch and um, I really like the way it turns out. Um, I didn't, I probably had enough pictures to do both sides, but um, I want to do something different with some of the pictures. So, yeah. So, here are my uh, stripes, most of them. I still have, uh, I think, one or two more that I'm going to add to this. And they are going to be at a little bit of an angle because that's how they are in the sketch. And so I don't put it at too much of an angle, but there is a slight angle to it all. So um, that one, last one I just cut there is actually a sticker from the sticker sheet. Um, and I knew I wanted to use it, but I wasn't sure where or wherever it was going to lay. So I made sure I um, kept the backing on it. So here's where I decided it's going to be the first one I put down. So I got that stuck down. And now I'm just going to um, go from there. And I'm going to use that brown over on the side so I wanted to make sure I got that cut off so I could remember to uh, redo that pattern and I'm liking uh, the pattern I chose yeah, I am doing a um, light dark type so that um, I have a light pattern paper and then a dark pattern paper and then light pattern paper and I think that turned out um, well for this because um, there is a lot of pattern papers and so I want to make sure that uh, they all looked cohesive um, and not blending into each other either. So this one was crooked so I'm going to redo it and that is what the uh, patterns are going to look like on the top of this layout and I thought I was going to put the same patterns on the bottom of the page too underneath where the stickers not stickers pictures are going to be but instead I used that sticker stripe that was left over since I only cut that three inch um piece off of it so I'll do that here in a second so I'm gonna put my pictures are gonna be just like that and 
and this is where I decided to go ahead and um, frame out the stickers on. Ah, I keep saying stickers. Frame out the pictures on the bottom with stickers from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. There. So I put the um, what is that plaid at the bottom, and then this um, it's a navy and white stripe. It's a little bit thinner. I'm gonna put up both sides just to have something up the sides and then I'll just put the pictures over top of that um yeah they just jumped there right there didn't they <laughs> so here I am putting the pictures down okay so these pictures these pictures were taken in I have to look up the date but I'm pretty sure it was November December somewhere around there and we had gotten a lot of snow, like a whole lot of snow. The picture I'm just putting down and the big tall picture are my house. And it's my son and my nephew up on top of the house shoveling off the snow because it wasn't moving and it wasn't coming off. And it was thick. It was probably three feet deep up there. And then the other pictures, the other two pictures, like this one that I am matting on this double mat... It is a picture of our little, um, it's a bulldozer, it's a tiny one, but, um, yeah, that's my son, my husband actually is driving that and trying to <laughs> make it so we can get out of our driveway because there was so much snow that even our four-wheel drive trucks um, weren't moving. It was like we were stuck in here, and so he had to get the uh, bulldozer up and running and plowed out our parking and driveway and everything so they were working hard on all that and I was taking pictures <laughs> it was great so um no I had to work too I had to shovel between the uh, house and you know the woodshed and all that fun stuff so we were all working but I'm not going to complain because I love the snow even though it's a lot of work I love the snow so I went ahead and double matted that uh, picture of the cat or bulldozer up at the top and now I'm going to put a triple mat on it because I didn't want that dark pattern um, to get lost in the patterns that were at the top which I already had used up there but this little piece of um, scrap paper here I didn't use up there um, it's the same colors as some of the other patterns it's that dark navy blue but um, I didn't use that actual pattern and so it kind of gave it a um, definition between those patterns and the um, the picture and then I'm going to put this one at a little bit of an angle up here at the top and that is just like in the sketch she had a matted picture up there and so I'm actually following the sketch sketch quite close I decided to go with winter as my title and I know it gets kind of lost here on camera um, it did a little bit in person too but I go around it in a white gel pen and that really helps it pop off there and then I'm looking at the sticker sheet and I decided to put these two little mittens at the end of winter and just no reason just because I thought they were cute and here's why I'm coming in with that white gel pen and so I'm going to get that all uh, outlined and it does help it pop off there a lot and then I do um, come in with those uh, snowflakes that are up in the top corner of the screen and they are puffy um they're not puffy they're foam foam snowflakes from the dollar tree and i got them a couple of years ago um, when they had their christmas um stuff out and it was like christmas ornament fillers i think they were called but i'm just going to use the silver ones because that blue is more of a royal blue and the blue that's in my paper is more of a navy blue and I didn't think it matched very well 
So I'm not going to use it, but I am going to use two and a half of the silver ones because I think the silver looks good with it. And then I'm going to grab some um, Tim Holtz um, word phrases. And I think I use one at the top. So it says, uh, let the adventure, so the adventure begins. I think is what it is. So the adventure begins winter. And I just thought that was perfect because winter is definitely an adventure. And then I use one at the bottom and it says, I think, be you bravely because the boys are up on top of the house. And I thought that fit perfectly. That's all I'm going to do on this. It is done. I think it turned out really cute. It doesn't need a lot more embellishments just because of it. It's such busy paper. And I just love the way it turned out. Thank you for watching. Bye.